Have you ever wondered what the biggest fireworks display in history might look like? Well, imagine no more. Today, we pull back the curtain on Operation Fishbowl, a series of high-altitude nuclear tests conducted in 1962. This was no ordinary pyrotechnic display. It was a full-blown spectacle of nuclear prowess, staged by none other than the United States. Fishbowl was part of a larger program, the intriguingly named Operation Dominic. Now this wasn't a casual endeavor. It was the product of a time when the stakes were high and the tensions even higher. The Cold War was in full swing and the space race had just begun. Amid this tableau of global politics and technological competition, the US planned a show of strength that would light up the sky like never before. But why the name Fishbowl, you ask? It's a fitting moniker, really. The operation's high-altitude detonations created an effect not unlike a fishbowl turned upside down in the sky. The world watched as the atmosphere itself became the stage for this dramatic demonstration of nuclear capabilities. The operation consisted of several tests, each with its unique codename. Names like Starfish Prime, Bluegill Triple Prime, and Kingfish might sound like they belong in a comic book, but these were serious, groundbreaking experiments that pushed the boundaries of what was possible. The fishbowl tests were designed to probe the upper limits of the Earth's atmosphere to understand the potential of nuclear weapons in this new frontier of the space age. The operation sought to answer questions about the effects of nuclear explosions at high altitudes and how they could potentially be used for both defensive and offensive strategies. So let's dive into the details of this incredible operation that was quite literally out of this world. It's a story of scientific curiosity, military might, and the unyielding human spirit. A story that takes us from the depths of the Cold War to the edge of space and back. So buckle up and get ready for a journey through time and the stratosphere as we uncover the secrets of Operation Fishbowl. Like every major operation, Fishbowl also started with a plan. Just as a blueprint is to an architect, so was the planning phase to Operation Fishbowl. This pivotal stage involved meticulous detailing and strategic thinking, all geared towards one purpose, to understand the effects of nuclear explosions in the upper atmosphere. But why? Why were the skies chosen as the theater of this operation? The answer lies in the geopolitical landscape of the early 60s. It was the height of the Cold War, a time when the world was divided into two camps, each armed to the teeth with nuclear weaponry. The United States, eager to maintain strategic advantage, was keen to explore the military applications of nuclear explosions in the upper atmosphere. They sought to understand how these detonations could impact communication systems, disrupt enemy missiles, and shape the future of warfare. Operation Fishbowl was thus born out of a mix of scientific curiosity and military necessity. The planning phase involved a series of intricate steps, starting with the selection of a suitable location for the tests. The Pacific Proving Grounds, a remote site in the Pacific Ocean, was chosen for its isolation and vast expanse of water, ideal for mitigating the effects of nuclear fallout. The plan outlined a series of high-altitude nuclear tests, each designed to study different aspects of nuclear detonations. Several agencies were roped in, including the Department of Defense, the Atomic Energy Commission, and the Air Force Special Weapons Center. The team worked tirelessly, drawing up schedules, coordinating logistics, and ensuring that every single detail was attended to. The objectives were clear. To understand the effects of nuclear explosions in the upper atmosphere, to test the resilience of military equipment in the face of such explosions, and to explore the potential for a new kind of nuclear warfare. It was a formidable task, one that required an enormous amount of planning and preparation. With the plan in place, it was time to move on to the execution. Now let's step into the execution phase, where the sparks really started to fly. Operation Fishbowl was a series of high-altitude nuclear tests conducted by the United States in 1962 as part of the larger Operation Dominic Nuclear Test Program. The operation consisted of five planned tests, bluegill, starfish, kingfish, checkmate, and tightrope. However, not all went according to plan. The first test, Bluegill, was set to launch on June 2nd. 
The rocket carrying a W-50 warhead was launched from Johnston Island in the Pacific, but the mission had to be aborted. The rocket's engines failed to ignite and the test was a no-go. But failure is often the stepping stone to success. After the Bluegill misfire, the team went back to the drawing board addressing the issues and returned just 20 days later for the Starfish test. On June 19, a Thor rocket carrying a W-49 warhead and a MK-4 re-entry vehicle was launched. However, just as the audience held their collective breath, the rocket malfunctioned and had to be destroyed mid-flight. Undeterred, the team regrouped, and on July 9, they were ready for Starfish Prime. The Thor rocket was launched successfully, and the 1.4 megatons of TNT-equivalent nuclear warhead detonated at an altitude of about 250 miles, creating a spectacular light show visible from Hawaii, almost 900 miles away. But it wasn't just for show. The explosion caused an electromagnetic pulse that resulted in power outages in Honolulu and damaged or destroyed a significant number of satellites in low Earth orbit. Following the mixed success of Starfish Prime, the team moved on to the Kingfish test in late July. However, this test too was not without its problems. The rocket suffered a failure in the thrust vector control system and the mission had to be aborted. In October, Checkmate was carried out successfully, detonating a small device at a very high altitude, about 480 kilometers. The explosion created a brief flash of light that could be seen over a large area of the Pacific Ocean. The final test, Tightrope, was a much smaller detonation carried out in November. It was the last of the fishbowl tests and marked the end of the Operation Dominic series. Throughout the execution of Operation Fishbowl, the team faced numerous challenges. There were technical difficulties with the rockets. The high-altitude detonations presented unique problems, and there was the ever-present danger of nuclear fallout. But each challenge was met with determination and ingenuity. Despite the setbacks, the team pressed on, refining their methods and learning from their mistakes. The operation was not just about detonating nuclear devices high in the atmosphere. It was a complex and meticulously planned scientific endeavor aimed at understanding the effects of high-altitude nuclear explosions on radio communication, the behavior of the Earth's magnetic field, and the durability of man-made satellites. It was about pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and capability in the nuclear age. Despite the challenges, the operation was carried out, leaving a lasting impact. The world watched as the United States conducted its high-altitude nuclear tests, sparking a global conversation about nuclear weapons, space, and the intersection of the two. The tests led to a better understanding of the Earth's magnetic field, the effects of nuclear explosions on it, and how these explosions could potentially be used in warfare. They also led to the creation of new treaties and regulations concerning nuclear testing, forever changing the landscape of international diplomacy and warfare. The sparks of Operation Fishbowl have indeed left a lasting glow. Among all the tests, Starfish Prime deserves a special mention. Starfish Prime was more than just another test in the series. It was an event that shocked the world and changed the course of history. This high-altitude nuclear test, conducted on July 9, 1962, was designed to investigate the effects of nuclear explosions in space. The bomb, with a yield of 1.4 megatons, was detonated at an altitude of about 250 miles, far higher than any previous test. The explosion created a spectacular light show that was visible over a wide area, with reports of the sky lighting up as far away as Hawaii. But it was the unexpected findings that really made Starfish Prime stand out. The detonation created an artificial radiation belt around the Earth, a phenomenon that was not anticipated. This artificial radiation belt, composed of charged particles trapped in the Earth's magnetic field, had far-reaching implications. It caused significant damage to satellites, leading to their early demise, and raised concerns about the safety of astronauts. The effects of this artificial radiation belt were felt for many years, with some particles remaining in orbit for up to five years after the test. The creation of the radiation belt also had a profound impact on scientific understanding. 
It led to new insights into the Earth's magnetic field and the behavior of charged particles in space. These findings have informed a wide range of scientific fields, from astrophysics to climate science. The Starfish Prime test taught us that our actions can have unforeseen consequences and that we need to tread carefully when exploring new frontiers. It also underscored the need for international cooperation and regulation in the use of space, leading to the creation of treaties and guidelines that continue to shape our approach to space exploration today. The Starfish Prime test was indeed a game-changer, causing ripples that were felt far and wide. Every action has its consequences, and Operation Fishbowl was no exception. Indeed, the ripples of this operation reached far beyond the immediate detonations. Operation Fishbowl, one of the most significant series of high-altitude nuclear tests, had profound effects on international relations, the environment, and the world's approach to nuclear testing. The detonations didn't just light up the sky, they also ignited debates in international forums. The world watched in awe and fear as the United States showcased its nuclear prowess, triggering a wave of anxiety about the potential devastation of nuclear warfare. Countries began to question the wisdom of such tests, and the dialogue shifted towards disarmament and non-proliferation. The operation was a wake-up call for many nations leading to a heightened push for peace and diplomacy in a nuclear age. Operation Fishbowl also left an indelible mark on the environment. The nuclear explosions injected an enormous amount of radioactive particles into the Earth's atmosphere. These particles, spiraling around the planet, posed a significant threat to human health and the environment. The radioactive fallout served as a stark reminder of the environmental costs of nuclear tests, forcing the world to confront the destructive side of technological advancement. In the face of these escalating tensions and concerns, the world took a significant step towards nuclear disarmament. The aftermath of Operation Fishbowl saw the establishment of the Limited Test Ban Treaty in 1963. This treaty, signed by the United States, the Soviet Union and the United Kingdom, prohibited nuclear tests in the atmosphere, underwater and in outer space. It marked a shift in international policy reflecting a growing understanding of the need for restraint and responsibility in the nuclear age. The legacy of Operation Fishbowl continues to influence our world today. Its echoes can be heard in the ongoing debates about nuclear weapons, disarmament and international security. It serves as a reminder of the power of human ingenuity, the destructiveness of nuclear weapons, and the enduring quest for a peaceful world. As we continue to grapple with these issues, the lessons of Operation Fishbowl remain ever relevant. So, what can we take away from this monumental event? Firstly, Operation Fishbowl, a series of high-altitude nuclear tests conducted in 1962, underscores the sheer audacity of the human spirit. It was an endeavor that saw us reaching out to the stars, not with a gentle hand of exploration, but with the thunderous might of nuclear technology. This daring venture was an integral part of the larger Operation Dominic, a response to the Soviet Union's extensive nuclear testing program. The Starfish Prime Test, the most infamous of the Operation Fishbowl series, stands as a stark reminder of the unanticipated consequences of our actions. The detonation, at a height of about 250 miles above the Earth's surface, resulted in an electromagnetic pulse, or EMP, that caused significant damage to electrical systems in Hawaii, nearly 900 miles away. This event brought the concept of EMP into public consciousness and highlighted the vulnerability of electrical infrastructure to such phenomena. Operation Fishbowl also played a pivotal role in the understanding and development of our space programs. The data gathered from these tests provided valuable insights into the behavior of nuclear explosions in the upper atmosphere and near space conditions. This knowledge has been instrumental in shaping policies and strategies related to space exploration and defense. Finally, the operation was a key factor in the establishment of the Limited Test Ban Treaty of 1963. The visible effects of the Starfish Prime Test, along with public concern over nuclear fallout, pressured nations to reconsider their nuclear testing practices. 
The treaty, which prohibits all test detonations of nuclear weapons except for those conducted underground, was a significant step towards nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation. In the grand scheme of things, Operation Fishbowl serves as a reminder of the dual nature of scientific and technological advancements. It exemplifies how they can both empower and endanger us, and emphasizes the importance of responsible and ethical use of technology. And with that, we've unraveled the story of Operation Fishbowl, an event that quite literally lit up the sky. It's been a fascinating journey through time, hasn't it? As we've delved into the depths of Operation Fishbowl, we've uncovered not just a series of tests, but a testament to human curiosity and innovation. History in its vast expanse is littered with such instances where humanity has dared to venture into the unknown, to push boundaries and to redefine what we perceive as possible. Understanding historical events like Operation Fishbowl opens up a window to our past, allowing us to glean insights into our present and perhaps even shape the course of our future. This serves as a reminder of our collective potential when we channel our efforts towards a common goal. But our journey doesn't stop here. There's a universe of history waiting to be explored, a myriad of stories waiting to be told. So let's continue to delve deeper, to learn more, and to satisfy that innate human curiosity that drives us forward. Thank you for joining us today. Stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating annals of history.